The iScan NX tablet is packed with features to make maintaining and diagnosing your customer's vehicle fast and efficient. In this video, I'll review the graphing scan tool feature and how to use it to speed your diagnosis. Using the graphing scan tool feature allows you to look at live data stream over time. This will show you any trends in the data, which is helpful when looking for a fault in a specific system. Before we get into examples of data stream graphing for diagnostics, let's look at how to activate and use the graphs. Today, I am working on a 2018 Toyota 4Runner. We're going to enter the engine management data stream. Once in the vehicle data stream, I'll select primary. On this 4Runner, we get quite a bit of data in primary. When graphing, I suggest selecting only the PIDs you need at that time. This will improve the refresh rates. Each PID is numbered in the order they are displayed, and next to that number is a graph icon that, when selected, opens the PID graph, displaying the data over time. Let's select a few PIDs. When selecting, the number will highlight in yellow. Engine speed. AFS Voltage B1S1 and AFS B2S1. You'll see the number of PIDs selected in the far right button. That is the Deselect PID button. With our three PIDs selected, tap View Selected PIDs. With the PIDs selected, tap the graph icon to open the graph for each PID. You can view the graph live. Pause the graph and resume the graph. And we also have the ability to magnify. We also have the option to overlay the graphs by pressing the combine button. You can overlay up to four PIDs at a time. With the graphs combined, each selected PID has been color coded to match the trace in the graph. You can also select a PID to change the displayed unit of measurement. In our example, we can switch from RPM to volts. Now let's put these selected PIDs to practical use. With the selected PIDs, RPM, and both pre-catalyst air fuel sensors, we can quickly determine if the fuel pump can deliver sufficient fuel. You can use this test when you suspect a weak fuel delivery system. With help from an assistant, perform a wide open throttle acceleration test. Be sure to obey all posted speed limits and perform this test in a safe manner. Pause your data. During our wide open throttle test, the AF sensors are reading rich during the entire period of acceleration. This tells us the fuel pump is delivering enough fuel for the engine demand. Let's take a look at another test we can perform using graphing data. Let's back out of our current graphs and look at some other data. One of the more common fault codes set on modern vehicles is fuel trim. When diagnosing fuel trim issues, you can get a look at the whole fuel control picture during a test drive while graphing the data. Let's begin by selecting our PIDs. Engine speed. Throttle position. And short term and long term fuel trim for both banks. Tap view selected PIDs. With the PID selected, tap the graph icon to open the graph for each PID. This is a bit more data than our previous test. In this example, I can select side-by-side -side display, then expand the PIDs you want to graph. This gives us a six-up view of the PIDs. Let's go for a test drive and see what the fuel trim trends look like. On this 4Runner, the engine is running well and the fuel control is within spec. The engine control module is looking for an average between short-term fuel trim and long-term fuel trim. Anything exceeding an average of plus 35 to minus 35% would indicate a fault. With the ability to view fuel trim data over time, you can see these trends. For example, when the engine is adding a lean condition or taking away fuel a rich condition. But knowing how to view the data and visualize the data over time will better prepare you when diagnosing these faults. There's so much more we can do with the new iScan NX. Check out our other videos for more feature reviews, tips, 
and diagnostic procedures.